A new report is calling for a programme of urgent modernisation in Whitehall. The centre-right think tank Policy Exchange calls for a workforce with a wide range of backgrounds and life experiences. Well, we can talk now to Dame Patricia Hodgson, uh, direct, uh, chair of the Reform for Government Commission for Policy Exchange, former BBC executive and chair of the Broadcasting Regulator Ofcom. Um, good morning. Morning, Martha. And I know your report sort of rages much more widely than this, but do you think that COVID was something that the civil service struggled with? Uh, I think it was. I mean, we've known for years how government struggles with big programmes, IT, defence, transport and so on. But COVID obviously shone a light on that sort of issue that was costing lives. Uh, We weren't prepared for the pandemic at the beginning. And that's why Policy Exchange brought together a cross-party commission. And that's important because reform takes time. Not We weren't pining on COVID, but we were looking at the machinery of government to include the lessons of COVID. Um, Of course, government did move fast after the first few months and changed many of the ways it worked. Um, And we got Nightingale Hospitals, the vaccine triumph and eventually surge testing. So we concluded that we needed to learn from what had happened, the good and the bad, and bake in those lessons for better government going forward. There has been a lot of criticism of the civil service from people who work there find it, or, or understandably find it unfair. With all of this criticism, is it going to be hard to recruit people to work there? Well, quite the opposite, you know. We've, we're finding a real appetite for public service. Um, and of course, our recommendations are designed to make the service much more attractive. Uh, we're focusing on leadership, on um, the importance of the responsibilities, experience and pay of senior civil servants. And the civil servants, many of the serving civil servants that we spoke to welcomed the more flexible working that COVID had brought in. They were getting clearer directions from ministers. They were they saw those outside task forces which brought in external expertise and were effective. Uh, and of course, they found themselves with greater freedoms moving fast. And there are real lessons here for the future.